I'm Akash here. In this video, I'm going to talk about four different ways that you could save money on your car insurance. If you're thinking about buying a car or you currently have a car and then you're thinking your premium is high, maybe check out these four basic things. Maybe this is the reason your insurance is currently high or maybe you're thinking it should be a little less, but it's not. Why is that? And they don't tell you everything, insurance company. You know, over the years, I have few cars currently myself and there are a lot of things I learned, you know, dealing with the insurance companies. If all the major companies I'm talking about in North America, I did, did deal with them. So the basic thing, if you live in a multifamily house, you know, I found out that hard way that sometimes if they put your multiple driver in your account, they do that. And sometimes they didn't even tell you that. So basically you got to check it out. The binder you get from your, you know, if, you know, if you go log in to your website and check it out, if they put somebody else, like your car nobody else drive only you drive but they might have multifamily house they have some teenager or something or some other people in your policy they put it oh because that person also live in this house so consider driving your car too it happens very often so you check it out with your the insurance company right now that if anybody else doesn't drive your car but it's in the policy and if they put it what do you do you just make sure you talk to the person in the multifamily house you live to. If they're in a different policy, just get the binder for them and send it to your insurance company and they'll take it out. That, they charge you big premium because if they put some other teenager, uh, you know, somebody multifamily house is showing the same address, but it's not your kid or it's not, you know, like uh, it related to you, but it happens. It happened personally and I see that. So check that out, make sure that all clear. Second thing, I think everybody should know that, that defensive driving course, if you take every three years, you get 10% discount, right? So if your premium is every six months, like thousand dollar, that's 10% is a hundred dollar is saving. If it's $2,000, you're saving $200. So that's a big deal. Make sure you check it, that make sure you have it up to date. It's good for three years, it expires, so make sure it's not expired or it's not about to expire. Make sure you get it and make sure you give it to your insurance company and you follow up with them to make sure they give you that discount with it. So that's the second way you could do it. Third way, let's see if you're thinking about buying a car right now, right? And if you have a good credit, if it's a used car that you're thinking to buy, let's say you're going to a dealer and you get a used car. If you have a good credit, go for credit union uh, loan. You know, like they, they will offer you credit union. If you're in North America, I'm sure there's a many, uh, most of the places you could get credit union loan. Why I'm telling you credit union loan, they give you really, really low interest. First, if you have a good credit, I mean, good credit means you don't have to have excellent credit. If, you have, if your credit is like around 700, they will give you credit union, they give you really low and they give you a card. They give you a card, a account number or ID, they'll send it to you at home and they will offer you a insurance, cheaper insurance from them because they have some deals with the, you know, like the insurance companies. So they, even if sometimes if you realize, if you go online and try to, uh, get an insurance quote. Sometimes they ask you, are you a member of any credit union? If you are, they give you a discount for that too. So even if, if, even if the company you have currently, you could call them up and listen, hey, uh, I, I'm a member of credit union. If you have a, you know, like uh, if you have the loan with them, it doesn't have to be a car loan though. If it could be personal loan or any bank card, you have, bank they have, the credit union bank, if you have it with them, anything, they give you card. If you have that, you will get an extra discount for that. I personally have one of my car and I have the card and now I get discount for all the cars. You know, so, so you have to call your company, insurance company. And if you have that card or if you future, if you're thinking buy a car, try to go with them because this way it's also, also going to help you with their car insurance, lower the premium. Plus, you know, you're getting a really low interest from them. And long run, if you stay with them and future, if you buy a car, they'll give you a better deal, better deal with the, with the interest. So that's the, the other way you could save your, you know, definitely you could save it, save some money from your car insurance. Because, you know, living in New York metro area, the insurance is pretty high. Anyway, if you live in like most of the uh, like city areas anywhere in the country, you live with the insurance is really high. So that's the other, another way you could save money. The fourth way, I would say, if you had some time, you know, we know we drive, we, we're all, you know, try to be a safe driver, but sometimes we get a ticket. Most of the insurance company, if you look at it, 36 months, they tell you, oh, okay, you have a ticket. That's why your insurance is high because it's been, uh, you know, it, it stays 36 months. Sometime it happened to me, me, even 36 months is gone, they're still charging you more money because of that ticket. They didn't take it out of the system. They do. Some people, they try to tell you, oh, 36 months, then tell you, oh, it's not 36 months, it's 39 months. So you have to make sure you have to, you know, when you're getting a quote from an insurance company, ask them, how do you guys count the tickets? 
if the company is saying 36 months, you know, okay. So make sure you, when is the time is up, make sure you write it down, the date you got the, uh, the you know, the guilty play the day you get, that's the day they count. You know, so like you make sure it's 36 months and you call them up. Your premium is still high. You better call them up right away. Listen, it's been 36 months. You better take that off my system and make sure your your premium goes you know, lower. But sometimes they don't take it out right away. So you make sure you call them if you had a ticket like that and it's been 36 months. So, you know, like, and then, then that's definitely, that's the, another way you could save some money on car insurance. Every little, little thing, because you know what? Car insurance is a big thing. If you live in a metro area, it's very expensive. So those four ways definitely should help you. Uh, check it out. Maybe one of them may apply for you and uh, definitely try to be a safe, good driver. That should help too, right? And one more thing I would say, because if you think you have an insurance and your premium, I mean, the renew time is com coming now, and then you're thinking I should shop around, it's always good to shop around, right? So when you go shop around and you see a better quote on online and you're going to buy it, but make sure don't cancel your old insurance right away because sometimes you get premium online you see a good deal better deal and the computer calculate differently when the agent personally going to call you the next day or day after to follow up with you make sure everything okay they might tell you oh the computer was this but now it's going to be a little bit more you know so you might get surprised Some, many times that happens that you get a code and when actually you know they check it out your policy and everything they say oh, okay it's gonna it's not gonna be this it's gonna be a little bit more so this is why if you get a code you don't get too excited if you good get it online just buy the policy but wait at least two three days before you cancel your previous you know the old policy so make sure they check it out everything and everything is good and they say yes this is the exact the price you're getting it and we're not gonna change anything then you're definitely going to cancel your old one. It's always better to shop around because the reason I'm telling you to wait two, three days, because if you with a company for like few years, they reward you for that. You know, like they give you always, oh, okay. So this is like, you've been with us three years, no accident, nothing. So they'll give you a little bit of some kind of discount. So once you left and cancel it and the other policy that you see, they're charging you more now, you cannot go back. You have to get a new policy now. So now that three years or two years you've been in with them, it's not going to count. So this is why it's very important. Just wait like two, three days before you cancel it. So hope this video was helpful to you. If this video was helpful to you, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I have another channel, which is, uh, you know, talk about hair, you know, hair treatment and hair loss solution. And hopefully that channel really picked up and really hundreds of people getting help every day. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me you could check it check that out and uh, you consider subscribing that would be really helpful thank you